Clients comfortably sit in a recliner where they train their mind in a virtual reality environment paired with studio headphones. The entire process is pre-explained by video presentations prior to each VR training to the client. This prepares the client's mind for the exercise preempting any surprises or distractions. In the first scene, they are introduced to the virtual practice room and induced into a deep relaxation through the pre-recorded voice of the mind coach, reinforced by the visual aid. The foundation of the methodology is to help clients to separate from their body and mind in order to take charge over their life's equipment. This separation of the body and mind is carefully described step by step by the voice of the mind coach. We use the image of the blue light that enters into the humanoid and other hypnotic techniques to bring clients into a deep relaxation with their eyes still open. In order to reinforce the relaxation, the Tibetan gong is implemented to help facilitate the journey from outside the body to inside the mind. Now we are moving inside the mind. We have entered the driving deck of the mind. This is where clients take the driver's seat and perform most of their work. The guy in the bubble is genius, the intelligent side of the mind. Genius is the creator and the executor of behaviors and connects the client with the rest of the mind and body. Genius is the most important element of this training, as we are training the clients to lead, love, and train their genius. Now we are opening the environment where the core of the training is going to take place. This is the library that represents the client's memory bank and the behavioral system. The most essential process is happening here. As you can see, this is a library built for a 32-year-old client. Each section represents one year. Each book represents a series of events. The library is tailor-made according to the client's age. The voice of the mind coach helps the client's mind enhance step by step. Each step of the process and the visuals will reinforce and anchor the protocol. Here is an example of the first two sessions based on releasing the causes of fake threats, causing anxiety and fears. The floor of the library has opened, showing a series of red lights. Each light represents a threat challenged by genius to identify which one is real or fake. All the fakes are switched off. The threats are recovered browsing fight or flight events during the client's life. This is a totally subliminal process based on the theory that our life's memory bank is indexed and database-based, therefore easily searchable, a bit like browsing Google. The second phase of the first two sessions helps the mind to upgrade the first years of the client's behavioral system, here represented by the reactivation of the neurons visible under the floor of the library. Here we have a sample of the sessions 3, 4, and 5 where we are clearing the behaviors as well as the instinct of codependency. These are represented by the hostile behaviors displayed throughout the library. As you can see, and as the sessions progress, these negative behaviors are reduced or disappear. The behaviors and instinct of codependency during the sessions 6 and 7 are then substituted with a new set of powerful behaviors. This is represented by the forming of a new system able to provide the clients with a new behavioral structure rooted in self-sufficiency and independence. Now that the instinct side of the behavioral system has been regulated, we are progressing with sessions 8 and 9 to transform past negative experiences into assets for the future. As you can see, the undealt with events connected with judgment, shame, guilt, regret or blame resentment and pain towards others are represented by the books scattered on the library floor. During the process, these experiences are processed and archived. At the end of each session, the clients come back to the virtual practice room and the deep relaxation is ended, while offering to the client positive suggestions. The process is based on 10 sessions to normalize the mind and 4 to 13 further sessions according to the client's age to rebuild the behavioral system. Then, weekly interactive sessions to learn how to better manage thoughts, feelings, and emotions. If you'd like to know more, please contact us at info at mind .fitness.